This is the 20 teepees thing out. I was gonna do this video for Cali to see if I can. It's kind of dark and rainy, but here's one of the teepees right here. All the all the sticks and stuff they're like which a lot of people know when they do this but uh they're like identical pretty much they're all debarked all the same color pretty much all the same size and of course you get the x's within them but here's where most of them come to a point right there uh cali you totally understand the circuit boarding a lot of researchers don't. Colorado Bigfoot. Mark, you also understand. Uh, I think there's 17 here. I'm in a perch. This is like really cool. This is what whatever Sasquatch or being sets here sees. And it is awesome. You got the pinwheel. You got, uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's just mind blowing. You guys can see it. I actually posted this one on Facebook. But there's one there. There's like literally five here, five or six, within 20 yards of each other. Here's another one. This one's really cool. But through this whole hangout, there's at least 20, if not more. Here's another one. This one's beautiful. Oh, and I try to be so careful with the ground structuring because they do structure it. Absolutely beautiful. And you know, the cool part that a lot of researchers ain't realizing is that the structures behind a lot of times will line up with the structures in front, which I think it causes the energy to resonate through the hangout. It just adds that much more power to them. So that's number two. These are the kickers that come off. And then they structure to the ground structures. And they do sit under this one. It's not for shelter. It's, it's a definitely an energy thing. So that's two. There's one back behind all this stuff. Of course you get the X. But there's one right there. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Once again, all the same types of uh, sticks were used in this one too. There's a whole pile of them in there, and then they got a main main kicker out of it and down to the ground structure. So there's three. I think I got a four that coming down the trail. Is that three? One, two. That's three of them. I just want you know, Mark and Cal Callie, I love your guys' videos. You guys are doing awesome work. Here's four. <laughs> this one's amazing. It's more of a, a spider web design on this one. It's, it's freaking amazing. But once again, They're kicking down to the ground structure. So that's four. It's beautiful in here. Um, I actually, it's about the fourth time I actually, I almost broke down crying when I came, came up to this spot. Um, it's like they send they use emotions with me to communicate. Um, here's the here's the cool thing. Like they do these fanned out ground structures, which all these will kick off, and then they all come to a point. I'm I'm calling them ground teepees. I don't know what else to call them, but they all come to a point. Um, 
But uh, anyways, it, it's emotional. It's happened to me four times in these hangs out, hangouts, at least four times. But isn't that beautiful? The teepee and that, and then they they come down to the ground structure. And this whole hangout is gridded like that. But what, what I'm getting that comes through is uh, he, us as humans, we're literally destroying the earth. We're, we're destroying it. We're sucking a dry of energy and everything. But uh, the reason, uh, this is what I'm getting at, and my mom. My mom was in here. She's very, very clear energy-wise, been in the health business for years um she does energy work on people um she'll have she can do automatic writing where she'll have uh, energy come down through her her and she's able to write through through spirits um she her and her friend are both really good at feeling the energy but they sat in the one up here and uh had a high amount of energy coming through them. Um, my mom had the same thing happen to her. She broke down crying. Um, but what they what they told her and, and me is that the structuring is more drastic right now, and they're doing a lot more structuring. And what they're doing is pulling energy down into the earth. They're literally pulling energy into the earth to help heal it from our destruction. And uh, the four times I did, three of the times I did break down crying. One, I was on camera. So I, I held it back. But uh, they have a lot of compassion for us. You know, they love us unconditionally. It's, they have a lot of sorrow for what we're doing to, to the earth. You know, we are literally in a critical point. You know, we have a choice. Either we keep going the way we are, and <clears throat> this will uh, cease to, you know, not exist. We will, we will literally run ourselves into the ground, along with all the other creatures on this planet. Look at this, guys. It's just amazing. It's amazing. Uh, another thing that came through uh, with my mom and her friend that came through that they were getting a message was... Uh, the reason this area is so so structured is it's like on a it's sacred land for one and i there are indian artifacts people find around this area it's sacred land there was a war here at one point uh they weren't sure if it was the whites coming in and massacring the indians but there was a massacre here and the rocks there's a lot of rocks through here there's like Partial pathways, circled rocks. Uh, but anyways, there, there's another thing with this place is it's on like a... Uh, how do you put it? There's something important in the ground here. It's like uh, something to do with energy. So that's why one reason they're highly structured in it here. Because <clears throat> they're able to pull a lot of energy down and put it into the earth here here's another one I think I was up to four I, I know I passed a few oh, I try to be so careful like all this stuff I am not kidding you they structured it um I always apologize when I break their stuff even the littlest things that they they do here Here's the, what I call the ground teepees, where they all come to one point. But they're all over in here. This is what I call the two-stick two teepee right here. 
Oh, let's see if I can find more of the other teepees. I'm really excited for uh, your video, Callie. The last one you did was awesome, too. There's one of those little bends there. But you see how they kick it down in? And then all this will run. Every, everything connects here. So here's what I'm talking about, like the fire rings. There, there's an A structure here. But there is... They're in a circle. Literally in a circle. Oh yeah, this was really cool too. There's a hole that goes down in here. You know what, I don't know if these are the little people that maybe go down into these or... Uh, another lady I watch, she talks about the subterraneans. But it is X right here. Oh yeah, I think this is another TP right here. There's like five. There was four that I counted up here. Here's here's another one. These kick out a long ways. And they're they're all kicking down. Here's your X. Right? Your little X, which kicks down to your forks and your tridents, which are definitely important for energy. But these these all it's a it's a freestanding. It goes around all these trees here. But there's one, two, three. There's another one there, four, and then they got one coming from that side back there. And that's five. There's five into this TV. And then once again, you get two coming to a point in the center. Yeah, and then all this here. But this one actually kicks down to that. All this will kick up. See how that touches there? But then these touch that, which connected into that. And that one back there kicks down to there too. But all there's one, two, three, four. I think there's one behind that. But there's quite a few that all come into the center of the structure at the bottom here. And they all kick out and start start running. You know, I'm not saying there ain't more evil beings out there, but these are not the ones that are evil at all. I have felt nothing but love. Nothing but love from these guys. I had a sighting in here. The first time I stepped in here, I stepped off the trail, and I was just going to step in to take a peek to see what was in here because of the structures along the trail. And, uh, you know, of course I knew it was instantly a, uh, a structured area. I stepped in like, I don't know, 10 steps in. I didn't have my camera. I didn't have my phone. And I should have. But uh, and on the hill I'm on 